this is our nutrient area. Um, this is where all of our reverse osmosis water comes into the building. We store it in these tanks on the upper level. Uh, each one of these is connected to a nutrient mixing tank down here. Um, they're 300 gallons a piece with uh, 2,400 gallons of retention and 2,400 gallons of mixing capacity. All of these are connected uh, to a series of pressure pumps that go upstairs to run uh, on drip systems. Um, we had these custom made so they can roll out and uh, can do the mixing right here by hand. Um, we opted out of using an automated dosatron or anything like that because uh, I feel like hand mixing nutrients, um, as long as the recipe is right and people are doing their process right, is a lot more reliable than using an automated system. Um, the uh, What pH level are you running on your, you're, you're obviously growing in a cocoa, uh, uh, cocoa peat blend. Yep. And uh, what, what, uh, what pH, what ppm are you running right now? Uh, generally our bloom mixes will run at about 6.2 pH. Our veg mixes will run right around 6. Um, they can vary from 5.8 to 6 in veg and about 6 to 6.2 in these tanks here. And your food levels? Uh, 1,250 parts per million would be about the highest if, uh, that we would run. Um, anywhere between about 900 to 1,200 parts is pretty standard, pretty average. Perfect. Um, I guess uh, we, we, we opted to use these cubes. You can store a lot more water in a cube rather than a cylinder. Um, it definitely poses a few challenges uh, because it's custom made, but it seems to work pretty well.